Hey everyone, Dale here with Pacific Sun Technologies. I hope you're doing well during these troubling times. I have a pretty exciting product to talk to you about today that could very well revolutionize your home and how you interact with energy consumption in it. Span.io is an up and coming company founded by Arch Ryo, an ex Tesla engineer. And I'm sorry if I botched the name. His vision is to simplify whole home backup and bring whole home energy management to the everyday consumer like you and I. But before I get into more details, I'd like to ask that you take a second and subscribe to the channel. Yeah, hit that button down below and while you're at it, click the little bell icon too. That way you'll receive notifications on future product videos just like this one for Span.io. I'm always searching the web and speaking to people in the industry about new products coming to the market. And when I stumbled across the Span.io over a year ago, I of course registered to become a certified partner. The product at the time had vague information, but the concept was very clear to me. They're building an electrical panel that is intelligent and reduced the components needed for a solar and battery backup system. Fast forward to just last month and I'm happy to announce Span.io has begun shipping their smart panel and companies like myself can become certified to sell and install the Span.io product. I was lucky enough to be someone they reached out to as this is more or less still in beta from what I gathered. But Span.io, which to be honest, I have a hard time saying, it's really odd name, but you know that's just my opinion. I'm sure there's some meaning behind the name but sadly, no one at Span.io that I spoke with, uh, you know, knew of anything. I think it might be an acronym, you know, like Service Panel Automated Network. I don't know, but it's a good guess. Anyways, I'm sure you're asking yourself why you need this product and how does it work? Well, the Span.io is a smart service panel, not the first of its kind in this department. So for any of you that have been looking at smart panels, you may have seen the Leviton, but Span.io is doing something vastly different than its competitors in its approach to being a smart panel as they had a clear objective than just allowing you to turn your circuits on and off with your you know, iPhone. The Span.io has a built-in auto transformer switch. See, this is what's making it so unique, which is crucial for homeowners looking to get whole home backup from their solar and battery system. So looking at this image, you can see there's a lot of components needed for emergency backup. And for those of you looking into getting a solar system with battery backup, this may come as a shocker as the sales guy never really explains the amount of components needed to be installed. You have gutter boxes, you have your solar inverter, which is connected to your critical loads panel, which houses circuits from your main service panel. You know, So this all has to be near that service panel because that's how you're going to back up your circuits during the power outage. You then have your batteries, of course, and, a, and an auto transformer switch to separate your house from the utility grid during that power outage. Because the last thing you want is to send power through those power lines when you shouldn't be. You're looking at five to seven things being installed on your wall just for solar and battery backup. And if you're not familiar with what a service panel is, it's the electrical box on the side of your home with the utility company feeds power to and charges you for using. It typically has a meter attached to it. But as you can see, it's very clear that this is a lot of things and requires a lot of space. But what if you could simplify this? And that's what Span.io has accomplished. They eliminate the need for the auto transformer switch because it's integrated into the service panel. And in combination with the panel being intelligent in design around the idea of solar and battery backup, you don't need all this other stuff like the critical loads panel, the gutter boxes and so on. Because we can program which breakers the Span.io panel will power during the grid outage. Now, Here's some really cool features that you won't have the ability to do with a traditional solar plus storage backup system. During the grid outage, you can open your Span.io app and change what circuits you're providing backup power to 
in real time. So what do I mean by this? Well, let's say you have a two story home. The power is out and the family has been downstairs watching TV or cooking in the kitchen. But you know, you want to go upstairs and you know, play with your Xbox series X. Perfect. But the upstairs game room isn't one of the circuits being backed up. Not to worry, you open your span app and move the game room circuit to the backup mode and voila, just like that, you now have power to your game room upstairs. How freaking cool is that? The Span.io app will become your central hub for your solar information, battery information, your home's consumption for import and export to the grid. Literally, it's your main point of control. Currently, Span.io is only integrating with two solar plus storage systems, LG Solar's ESS and Panasonic Evervolt. Both these systems share their data with the Span.io app, so you don't have to fumble around to see what's going on in your home. Span.io is in discussions with many more solar and battery manufacturers to expand their app integration into the panel app as they want the system to work literally with as many, if not everyone in the industry, so that way consumers just have one access point. Now, the Span.io smart panel is not all rainbows and sunshine. I mean, I gotta you know, kinda tell it like it is. There are some issues that I noticed that I hope they resolve in the next generation. They say they will, but you know, time will tell. The most important one, which I'm sure some of you may have not even noticed because I didn't until I became certified, but the Span.io panel has no meter socket for the utility company meter. So what does that mean? Well, this product is more of a sub panel currently than a replacement to your existing service panel, at least for the majority of homeowners in our area of California, as we all have metered electrical panels. Now, Depending on where you live, that may not be an issue as there are plenty of states that the meter is separate from the electrical panel, but Span.io is currently working on a metered version of their panel. We may not see that for a year or two though. Not, you know, not saying it's bad, just something to take into account. Even though we'd have to install this product on the opposite side of your utility panel, we will be offering the Span.io product to customers interested in it in our area of Southern California. So if you're someone that's been waiting for a product like this to future proof your home in anticipation for battery backup and solar, then this is a great time to visit our website, pacificsuntech.com and request a quote. I'll be providing pricing at the end of this video. So don't, uh, don't go away. Now, like I said, the Span.io smart panel is currently only integrated with LG Solar's ESS energy storage system, which is at this time unreleased, and Panasonic's Evervolt, which I also believe is unreleased at this time. Both systems are almost identical to the concept of the Generac PowerCell and LG Chem storage system. And if you're interested in learning more about the PowerCell, then check out one of our previous videos on it. And if you're interested in learning more about the LG ESS or Panasonic Evervolt, then subscribe to the channel because we will be doing a video on those products here in the coming weeks. Now there's one last thing I wanna share with you and like I kinda led up to, I would greatly appreciate any feedback in the comments below from you. This is kind of a, you know, we kinda wanna know what you think. The price. As of this video, the Span.io is priced at $5,000 plus tax. And before permitting an installation, remember I gotta do this and you know I honestly need to be able to make some money off of it. Try to consider the amount of components typically needed for a solar and battery backup system. And remember, this helps eliminate the bulk of these components while providing you with a robust energy management tool and features that there's no way you could get on a traditional solar plus storage install. I find the price to be fairly reasonable, but I want your opinion. So please share it in the comments below because I'm thinking for my installation permitting and to maybe make 500 bucks, you know, about $6,250 in total. 
Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Lots of great content coming in the coming weeks. And if you're someone interested in this product or any of the other products I discussed, then visit our website to receive a hassle-free quote. Thanks again. Until next time.